This is Samsung Galaxy M34 and today I will share a few useful camera tips and tricks on this device. So let's begin by exploring what interesting and useful modes the default camera app of this phone has to offer. So let's start with the fun mode and what this mode is essentially is regular photo mode but with Snapchat filters. Here you can switch between what face filters you would like to apply, then simply find a face and well take a photo, hence the fun name of this mode. So it's just a mode for fun. Another interesting mode that you might have missed or didn't pay too much attention to is called Camera Pro Mode and it allows you to manually adjust the camera parameters such as ISO value, shutter speed, exposure, something is wrong with my camera focus. Uh, forgive me. So ISO speed, shutter speed, exposure, focus distance and white balance. So if you're not satisfied with how those properties are being automatically treated by the camera and you would like to get something specific out of the pictures you are taking, go for this mode. Or if you simply would like to have more manual control over your pictures or over the camera, the camera pro mode is a way to go. Uh, let's see if there. Yep, another mode you might have missed is macro mode and this mode is pretty self-explanatory it allows you to take the best possible macro photos of some objects small objects usually from a very uh, short focus distance uh, people usually use the macro mode to take pictures of flowers maybe some small stones or whatever is actually anything that you'd like uh, any small or small enough object that you would like to capture in the best possible detail so i will take a picture of this logo we have so first i need to somehow deal with this pesky shadow and this is the macro result that i have gotten if you ask me the photo the macro picture the macro photo looks pretty decent now let's get back to the camera app and explore some settings interesting settings uh, first you can take a photo or either in the 12 megapixel or 50 megapixel mode. Let's actually compare them face to face. I will take a photo using regular 12 megapixels and then I will switch to 50M and take an exact same photo. Now let's open the details and compare them. So this picture has been taken with regular 12 megapixels. That's the level of detail that it retains. Also, the resolution is 3K by 4K. And this photo retains way more details. As you can see, I can uh, observe way more trash and junk particles here. And the resolution is twice as big at 6 by 8 k Now let's actually go into camera settings. So first I recommend that you switch on the Sin Optimizer. It will automatically optimize your photo scene and well just overall make it look a bit more beautiful and decent then you can also switch on the scan QR codes and once this once this option is enabled uh, your camera will automatically look for the available QR codes inside its viewfinder and if it will spot any you can well process the QR code right away so a very convenient quality of life improvement option in the camera and the final thing that I wanted to show you guys is that you can use your watermark but customized in the customized appeal so switch it on then uh, edit or i mean rather tap at the edit button here at whatever text you would like to see for example hard reset and you can see from the preview what it will look like then you can also change its font you can modify its alignment both in terms of horizontal and vertical axis and well, as far as this video goes, that'll be it. So should you have any further questions, leave them in the comment section below. But as for now, thanks for watching and bye-bye.